If you are having trouble generating a new map in Geometry Node like this and like this, this video will be a possible solution to you. You can generate a UV map using UV on that node with its same socket applied. When using curve to mesh node, whether the profile curve is open or closed is important for getting a usable UV map. If the profile curve is open, there are no problems using the shown node configuration, which utilizes the factor of the spline parameter node of each curve as U and V data. But if the proper curve is closed one, there must be an abrupt change in factor because the first and last index vertices are adjacent to each other. As a result, the steepest interpolation between them results in an abrupt change in textual like this. So in this video, I'm gonna use another method. First, please set up these node configuration in Geometry Node Editor and Shader Node Editor. As you can see, you can store your custom attribute in Geometry Node and it is accessible in Shader Node Editor by using Attribute Node. So please match the attribute name in this video as test.uv and it is important to set field type to face corner in store named attribute node. This solution is very simple. We're using UV unlab node, which is provided as a default node and applying sim boolean condition. I'm gonna use the index value of the profile curve. If the index value is zero, the first index, the sim socket is gonna get True value. It's like scissoring the generate mesh linearly along the first curve direction. That's it. You've got a usable UV vector like this. Very simple. If you want to make animation by changing the first input curve of the curve to mesh node, you should modify this node configuration a little bit. And it's okay, jump to next timestamp. As you can see, as the first curve's vertices are noised, the ledger tube map is also affected. So I'm gonna make a noise tolerance UV map with simple trick. In order to do that, we need the original curve, I mean the curve before applied by noise texture. Let's duplicate the curve to mesh node with command shift D and change the first input curve to original curve. And then connect the node with sample index node. Also, make the output of the UV unlab node pass through the sample index node. In this way, you can make a noise tolerance UV map. And don't forget to change the field type to face corner. Well done, we finally finished it. It's okay even though there is noise in the first curve. The remaining part of this video demonstrates that even with normal noise on the generated mesh, the UV map doesn't change. Therefore, I think it is appropriate to say goodbye here. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys very very soon. Later.
Thank you.